Today we're going to make a very simple guacamole. Now, I've had a lot of great guacamoles in my life that had tomatoes and onions and corn and all different kind of things in it. But what we're going to make today is the true, very basic, simple guacamole. Avocados, lime, cilantro, and salt. And the key to a good guacamole is the avocados need to be the right texture. What you're looking for is, first of all, to make sure nobody's watching you because you don't want to be caught squeezing every avocado in the store. <laughs> Push on it a little bit like that. See, like this one doesn't give anywhere. You can almost feel by holding it that it's real dense. Not quite there. You know, it feels like a baseball. You know, this one feels a little bit softer around the sides. You want it to give a little bit. If you push on it and it goes all the way through, then it's overripe. So you don't want those. And 99% of the time, I'd say you're, you're, you're gonna be buying avocados ahead of time and waiting for them to soften up. Now to open these up, what you wanna do is just peel around the seed and then to get it out, kind of take the heel of the knife and twist. To help the process, what we can do is score it down and then go back across. All that goes into the bowl. Now you see I have a wide bowl because I'm going to want to mash it with my fork in there. This is four avocados, so let's say two limes. We're going to do this to taste though. You know, it's hard to put a number on how many limes to use. I've used limes that I've had to use six just to get any juice out of them. And then I've seen limes where two will work because there's a lot of juice in it. You can kind of squeeze these a little bit and roll them. It kind of helps the juice get loose in there. Now, the thing to remember about cilantro is that this is one of the herbs that you do not want to de-stem. Take the whole bunch. Well, the stems have a lot of flavor. We have that crunch to it. There are fingers down. And just slice. Stems and all. Stems, leaves, everything. This is really key here, the salt. So you want to make a good coating on the top. Now, I like to use a fork when I use the limes. Yeah, they just got a good juice in that one for sure. Just turn that fork around as you squeeze in there. That's what a lot of Mexican cooking is. It's very simple, bright, clean flavors. It's just all about being fresh. And once we have everything in there, it's just a matter of smashing it up. Now, I use the back of a fork. If you want to make a really smooth guacamole, I don't mind it chunky at all, but I'm just going to show you this way as well. The mortar and pestle. If you're going to go through the trouble of getting a mortar and pestle, get a mortar and pestle. This is a mortar and pestle. Those little bitty ones, that's window decoration. This comes in handy, especially when you have like dried chilies and you want to make a paste for cooking beans or cooking chicken. And you know, soak the chilies, put them in here, smash them up, makes really, really delicious paste. The weight of the stone does all the work. It wouldn't be proper to not have some sort of a festive bowl for your guacamole. Now, a lot of people put sour cream in their guacamole, and I'm okay with that. I like that too. But if you have some nice avocados, I mean, this is more what I like out of a guacamole. Very simple, very fresh. Incredible.